Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 550. Oxygen content of blood. How do you determine the oxygen content of the blood? Oxygen content of blood is the oxygen binding capacity times the percent saturation plus the dissolved oxygen. So to remember this, just remember that oxygen in the blood only exists in two forms. It's either bound to hemoglobin or is dissolved. How much oxygen can one gram of hemoglobin bind? One gram of hemoglobin can bind 1.34 milliliters of oxygen. What is the normal amount of hemoglobin in the blood? The normal amount of hemoglobin in the blood is around 15 grams per deciliter. So based on this information, what would the oxygen binding capacity be? Based on this information, the oxygen binding capacity would be 15 times 1.34, which comes out to roughly 20.1 milliliters of oxygen per deciliter. One additional thing to note here is that cyanosis can result if deoxygenated hemoglobin is greater than 5 grams per deciliter. What effects does decreasing hemoglobin have on oxygen? Decrease in the amount of hemoglobin also leads to decrease in the oxygen content of the arterial blood, but the saturation of oxygen and the arterial PO2 are not affected. What is the equation to calculate the oxygen delivery to tissue? Oxygen delivery to tissue can be determined by the cardiac output times the oxygen content of blood. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.